Hello, my dear students. Today we are going to present the final revision in the syllabus. We are going to discuss different types of questions and problems. We are going to discuss their model answer. And I want you to write the chemical equation in the exam, balance its symbolic equation, with writing the physical state of reactants and products, and write in the part specialized for it. So let us start. Choose the correct answer. Iron dissolves in diluted acid to produce what? Is it iron two salts or iron two oxide or iron three salts or iron three oxide? If you think about it, my dear student, you will find the answer. It will be iron two salts. Next point. A black precipitate is formed on adding a silver nitrate solution to the solution of what? Is it sodium sulfide or sodium sulfide or sodium nitrate or sodium carbonate? If you think about it, yes, the answer it will be sodium sulfide. Next point, the organic compound 1, 2, 3, trihydroxybenzene is called what? Ethanol, bicric acid, biogallol, catechol. If you think about it, yes, the answer it will be biogallol. Next type of question, from the following experiments, did you use the salt name? and its chemical formula without writing the chemical equation. On adding lead to acetate solution to the salt solution, a white precipitate is formed, and on adding ammonia solution to the salt solution, a white gelatinous precipitate is formed. If you think about it, yes, it will be aluminum sulfate, which has chemical formula Al2SO4O3. Next point, on adding silver nitrate solution to the salt solution, a white precipitate is formed, which turns violet when exposed to light, and on adding ammonium carbonate solution to the salt solution, a white precipitate is formed. Yes, if you think about it, yes, it will be calcium chloride, which has chemical formula CaCl2. Next type of question. From your study of the transition elements and their usage, how can you overcome the following life problems? Write the name of the used element or the compound or the alloy. First point, the bore night lightning at the television photography. Yes, the answer, it will be scandium, which is added to mercury vapor lamps to produce light with high quality, looks like the sunlight. So it is used in, to, in TV to photography at night. Next point, the unbearable of the railway tracks, which are made from steel when heavy cargo trains use it. Yes, the answer, it will be ferro-manganese alloy that consists of iron and manganese. Next point, determining the rate of sugar in urine for diabetes. Yes, it will be copper positive 2 iron and copper 2 sulfate in failing solution. Next type of question, write the scientific explanation for each of the following statements. When adding iron three chloride solution that has pale yellow color gradually to ammonium thiocyanate solution that is colorless, the color of the produced solution it changes into bloody red color. The reason for that, according to the following equation, FeCl3 reacts with 3 NH4 SCN giving iron three thiocyanate Fe. SCNO3 and ammonium chloride 3NH4Cl. 
Here, the formation of iron 3 cyanate that has blood red color gives this color. Next point, it is not preferred to use iron or manganese in their pure state because pure iron is malleable or soft and pure manganese is brittle. Next point, the molten of cryolite and fluorospar are being adding to bauxite or on the extraction of aluminum electrically because cryolite, which is sodium aluminum fluoride, has chemical formula in A3AlF6, dissolves and ionizes bauxite, which is aluminum oxide Al2O3. And fluorospar, calcium fluoride, is used to decrease the melting point of the mixture of bauxite and cryolite from 2045 degrees Celsius to 950 degrees Celsius. Next type of question, mention the balanced equation. How can you obtain each of the following? Iodine from potassium iodide. According to the equations that proceed on the screen, 2Ki solid, when reacts with hot concentrated sulfuric acid, it gives potassium sulfate and hydrogen iodide gas. Sulfuric acid oxidizes the hydrogen iodide gas into iodine and is reduced into water and sulfur dioxide gas that shown on the screen. Next point, ethylene glycol from methane. When two moles of methane are heated to 1500 degrees Celsius with rapid punching, it gives acetylene and hydrogen gas. Then, acetylene, when catalytic hydration happens for it, it gives vinyl alcohol as an unstable compound that rearranges into acetaldehyde or ethanol. Then, ethanol that reduced into ethanol, and then we can obtain ethylene from ethanol by using concentrated sulfuric acid at 180 degree so it gives ethylene and water is produced. Then ethylene on bioreaction reacts with dilute alkaline potassium permanganate. It gives ethylene glycol or 1,2-dihydroxyethane. Next point, phenol from benzene. As the equation proceeds on the screen, benzene when it reacts with chlorine in the presence of iron 3 chloride, it gives chlorobenzene and HCl gas. Then, chlorobenzene on reacting with sodium hydroxide on alkaline hydrolysis at 300 degrees Celsius and 300 atmospheric pressure, it gives phenol and releasing sodium chloride. Next type of question, choose the correct answer. Which of the following values express the pH of the sodium benzoate solution C6H5COO in A? Its concentration is 2 molar, knowing that the ionization constant of benzoic acid is Ka equal 6.4 times 10 to the power negative 5. With 5.25 or 5.4 or 6.4 or 8.75. My dear student, you know that the hydrolysis of sodium benzoate gives weak acid and a strong base, so the solution is alkaline. So has pH greater than 7, so the answer it will be 8.75. Next point, the standard reduction potential of hydrogen in fuel cell equal what volt? Is it 0 0.83 or 0 or negative 0.83? or 0 0.4. If you think about it, my dear student, yes, it will be negative 0 0.83 for the reduction potential of hydrogen. If the solubility product Ksb of calcium fluoride, CaF2, is 3.9 times 10 to the power negative 11, so the concentration of F negative ion in the saturated solution of CaF2 at 25 degrees Celsius is what? 
is it 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 4 or 6.8 times 10 to the power negative 4 or 3.4 times 10 to the power negative 4 or 4.3 times 10 to the power negative 4? If you solve it, my dear student, you will find the answer it will be 2.1 times 10 to the power negative 4. Next type of question, my dear students. Two alcohols, one of them is secondary and the other one is tertiary alcohol. Having the same chemical formula, C4H10O. Write the structure formula and the name for each of the secondary alcohol and the tertiary alcohol. If you think about it, my dear student, you will find that the secondary alcohol, as shown on the screen, it will be 2-butanol, while the tertiary alcohol that is shown on the screen, it will be 2-methyl-2-propanol. Next type of question, my dear student. Show by drawing and balanced chemical equation how you can prepare an unsaturated organic gas which can be prepared ethanol by catalytic hydration from it. As shown on the screen, my dear student, if you put concentrated sulfuric acid and ethanol and are going to heat them and passing the produced gas over sodium hydroxide solution and collecting the gas above water, it will be ethylene. So this is the preparation of ethene or ethylene gas. And the equation for the reaction is ethanol by sulfuric acid at 180 degrees Celsius gives ethylene and water. Here the reaction steps, my dear student. Ethanol reacts with sulfuric acid at 80 degrees Celsius, giving acyl hydrogen sulfate and water is produced. Then, by thermal decomposition of acyl hydrogen sulfate, it gives ethylene and sulfuric acid. Next point in this question, my dear student, mention the role of the concentrated sulfuric acid in the preparation of an unsaturated gas, which we can prepare ethanol by catalytic hydration from it. Yes, the answer, it removes one water molecule from the ethanol molecule. Next type of question, my dear students. Write the indication of each of the following statement. The reaction of benzene with methyl chloride in the presence of catalyst. Here, benzene reacts with methyl chloride by substitution reaction where the hydrogen atom of benzene ring is replaced by methyl group, forming toluene. And this reaction equation is as following. Benzene reacts with methyl chloride in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride and heat. It gives toluene and releasing hydrogen chloride gas. Next type of question, my dear student. Mentioned by chemical equation, how can you obtain insecticide from natural gas. Here, two moles of methane by rapid quenching at 1,500 degrees Celsius, it gives acetylene and the hydrogen gas is produced. Then, acetylene on red hot nickel tube, it gives benzene. Then, adding chlorine to the benzene in the ultraviolet, right, it will produce gamexane, which is C6. H6Cl6, hexachlorocyclohexane. Next type of questions, my dear students. What is meant by each of the following? A strong electrolyte is, as shown on the screen, it is completely ionized solution of any acid or alkali or salt. Weak electrolyte, as shown on the screen, it is incompletely ionized solution of any acid or alkali or salt. Next type of question, my dear students. How can you differentiate between each of the following pairs? Ethane and acetylene. This is done by adding red bromine water. We find that 
If the red bromine color it remains, it will be ethane. If the red color is removed, it will be acetylene. Next point, carbonic acid and carbolic acid. Remember, my dear student, carbolic acid is phenol. So by adding iron 3 chloride to both of them, we find that if the violet color appears, the compound is phenol. While if no violet color appears, so the compound is carbonic acid. Next point, calcium chloride and calcium nitride. By adding dilute hydrochloric acid to both of them, we find that if the colorless nitric oxide gas evolves, which turns to reddish brown fumes at the mouth of the tube, so the compound is calcium nitride. While if no gas evolves, the compound is calcium chloride. Next type of question, my dear student. As shown on the screen, by using the next figure, which shows the activation energy before and after using a transition element, answer the following. What is the value of the activation energy without using catalyst? If you look at the graph, yes, it will be 130 unit. What is the value of the activation energy after using catalyst? If you make calculation about the part that it is catalyzed, so it will be 100 unit. Is this reaction an endothermic reaction or exothermic reaction? Yes, the answer it will be exothermic reaction. Next type of question. What is meant by each of the following? Acidic lead acid battery. It is used in cars and it consists of six cells are connected in series. Each cell produces electromotive force equal to a volt. And the total cell potential of the battery EMF, it will be 2 times 6 equal 12 volts. The total reaction of the lead acid battery, as shown on the screen, lead plus lead dioxide and plus 4H positive plus 2SO4 negative 2 on discharging, it gives 2 molecules of lead sulfate, 2BPSO4 and 2 molecules of water. And so the EMF of one cell equal 2.05 volt. The next type here, which is fuel cell. The cell is made from two pools. Each of them is similar to a hollow container lined by a layer of porous carbon that connects between the internal room and the electrolyte that exists inside it, which is hydrated potassium hydroxide. So the total reaction here, it will be 2H2 plus O2 gives 2H2O and the E of the cell, it will be 1.23 volt. Next type of question, my dear student, write what each of the following statements indicate. A decreasing order of the standard oxidation potential of the elements referring to the standard hydrogen pool it will be the electrode potential series of elements. Next point, a type of analytical chemistry aims to identify the constituents of the matter, whether it is pure sample or it is mixture of several substances. Yes, the answer, it will be qualitative analysis. Next type of question, my dear student. If the ionization constant of the acetic acid, Ka, is 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5, and its concentration, C, is 0.2 molar, in its aqueous solution, calculate each of the following. The ionization degree of the acid. The ionization degree alpha equals square root of Ko over C. Then, square root of 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 over 0.2 equal 9.486 times 10 to the power negative 3. Next point, the concentration of hydronium ion in the acidic solution. So the concentration here of hydronium ion equal square root Ca times Ka equal 
square root equal of 1.8 times 10 to the power negative 5 times 0 0.2, so it equals 3.6 times 10 to the power negative 6. So it will be mole per liter as concentration. Here the third point, the BOH of the acidic solution. Here, my dear student, BH equal negative log concentration of hydronium ion, so equal negative log 3.6 times 10 to the power negative 6, so equal 5.4336. Then the BOH here equal PKW minus BH equal 14 minus 5.4336, so equal 8.5563. Next type of question here mentions a scientific explanation for each of the following statement. On the reaction of hydrogen bromide with ethane, one two dibromoethane is not formed. As the equation proceeds on the screen, on adding HBr on the acetylene molecule, we find that the one of the bi bonds of the acetylene is broken down and hydrogen bromide is added. But in the second step, by adding the hydrogen bromide, we have to apply Marconic of rule as we have on symmetric alkene. So it gives 1,1 dibromoethane, not 1,2 dibromoethane. So we can say in the first step, HBr is added to symmetric alkyne, but in the second step, the addition of an asymmetric reagent HBr to an symmetric alkene the most part of the reagent is added to the carbon atom which carries large number of hydrogen atom and the negative part is added to the carbon atom which carries less number of hydrogen atom according to Marconic of rule. Next point, the anode is the negative pole in the galvanic cell because at anode the metal of the anode, which is oxidized, converting to positive ions, leaving their electrons on the anode. Next point, most of the organic compounds are non-electrolytic substances because most of the organic compounds are covalent compounds. Next type of question, my dear students, explain how can we detect the taking of drivers for liquids. The driver here blew a balloon through a tube containing silica gel, saturated with acidified potassium dichromate, and the balloon is left till the exhalation goes out. If the driver was drunk, the color of potassium dichromate in the tube it changed from orange to green color, and the reaction occurs as following. is proceed on the screen here on oxidation of ethanol, it gives unstable compound that on removing water from it, it gives acetaldehyde or ethanol. Then further oxidation by the acidic medium here, it gives acetic acid. Next type of question, what is meant by addition polymerization and mention an example for a polymer produced from addition reaction. Here, the addition polymerization takes place by adding a huge number of unsaturated small molecules to each other to form a very large molecule, have the same general molecular formula of the monomer. Question proceed on the screen. Here, the ethylene will react with another molecule, ethylene, in the presence of catalyst and heat and pressure. Here, the double bond or the bi bond are broken down into two electrons for each two atoms of carbon and then they combine through polymerization process forming the polymer. Next type of question here mentions the role of each scientist in the progress of the chemistry. Kikil discovers the hexagonal cyclic shape in which the single and double bond are exchanged as shown on the screen. Here, the ring in the figure indicates that the six electrons are delocalized at certain carbon atoms. Next science, Goldberg and Weck. They made the law of mass action, where it states that at a constant temperature, 
the rate of chemical reaction is directly proportional to the result of multiplication of the reactant concentration each is raised to the power of the number of molecules or ions in the balanced chemical equation next it's science volar it destroy the vital forces theory by preparing ionia in lab to the screen here ammonium chloride reacts with silver cyanate it gives silver chloride and ammonium cyanate here the ammonium cyanate by heating it gives urea next type of question compare between the blast furnace and madrex furnace here the blast furnace and madrex here in the source of the obtaining reducing agent here is coke in the blast furnace while in the madrex is methane gas and the reducing agent in the blast furnace is carbon monoxide while in matrix furnace is a mixture of carbon monoxide and the hydrogen that we call water gas and in the blast furnace the reaction equation to obtain iron coke plus carbon oxygen gives by heating carbon dioxide and then carbon dioxide is reduced by carbon or coke into carbon monoxide gas which is a reducing agent for hematite ore, which is iron three oxide, giving here iron and releasing carbon dioxide gas. While the reduction reaction equation in the matrix furnace can be done by forming the reducing agent. As shown on the screen, here CH4, methane plus carbon dioxide plus water, it gives by heating carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas. Then here we find that the iron three oxide, which is hematite, is reduced by the water gas, which is mixture of carbon monoxide and hydrogen gas, and forms iron and releasing carbon dioxide and water vapor. Next type of question, my dear student. Compare between the fuel cell and lithium ion battery. As shown on the screen here, the anode in the fuel cell is hydrogen, while lithium ion battery is lithium graphite. The cathode in the fuel cell is oxygen, and in lithium ion battery is lithium cobalt oxide. While the electrolyte in the fuel cell is potassium hydroxide, in lithium ion battery, hexafluorolithium phosphide. Next type of question Show by balanced chemical equation how can you obtain? Bicric acid from ethane. Here, ethane or red heat nuclear tube, it gives benzene. Then, benzene by chlorine, in the presence of iron 3 chloride, gives the chlorobenzene and releasing HCl gas. Then, chlorobenzene by sodium hydroxide, alkaline hydrolysis at 300 degrees Celsius and 300 atmospheric pressure, it gives phenol and sodium chloride. Then, phenol on nitration by concentric acid in the presence of concentrated sulfuric acid it gives bicric acid 246-trinitrophenol and releasing three molecules of water next point ethyl chloride from acetic acid here acetic acid on reduction by copper chromate at 200 degrees Celsius it gives ethanol and water then ethanol when reacts with hydrogen chloride gas in the presence of zinc chloride it gives ethyl chloride and water next point ethylene from sodium is oxide here sodium is oxide and water gives so ethanol and sodium chloride then ethanol by conic sulfuric acid at 180 degrees Celsius gives ethylene and water Next type of question, my dear student. Write the name of the following compounds according to IUBAC name. This is an important question. Here, as shown on the screen, we have to write the IUBAC name by numbering of the benzene ring. So it will be 4 bromo 1 chloro 2 nitrobenzene. Next one, as shown on the screen, it will be 2 methyl 2 propanol. Next one, as shown in the screen, it will be 2,5-diphenylhexane. 
as shown on the screen, this molecule will be named 5-chloro-2-pentene. And this compound can be named, Iubac name, which is acid also, here 2-promo-pentanoic acid. The next type of question, write the equation of preparation of a stealing gas in lab and draw the apparatus used. As shown on the screen, calcium carbide, by adding water over it, it gives acetylene and the calcium hydroxide. Here, the libratus can be shown on the screen. Water dropped over calcium carbide, passed over copper sulfate in the sulfuric acid to remove phosphine gas and the hydrogen sulfide gas, then it's collected above water. My dear students, I hope you understood all the different types of questions and the problems that we discussed today. And I hope you to get the best result in the exam, inshallah.